Okay, part two of the Pythagorean theorem, let's talk about the distance formula. And before we actually just tell you what the distance formula is, I really want to show you where it comes from, because it's basically just a Pythagorean theorem. So let's just say I have two points, A and B, just any two points. So I'll do it in blue so we can see it. Let's call this one point uh, A, and therefore we say it has coordinates some x coordinate, which I don't know what it is, it just could be anything, and some y coordinate. Okay, I'm calling it x1 and y1 because we're going to have another point, b, over here. Here's b. And b has some other x coordinate and some other y coordinate. And let's say we want to find the distance between these two points. Well, we don't really have a way of just finding that distance. However, what we could do is we could try and like make this into a right triangle and we could find this third point this third point we actually know what the coordinates would be think about it it's straight down from a so the x coordinate doesn't change at all so this is actually x1 because this is x1 and it doesn't go up or down at all because we just went straight left to right so it's going to have the same y coordinate as point b so this is actually y2. All right, this is where the magic comes in. Basically, you could think of this as side A, and you could think of this as side B, and this is side C. Well, if we knew what A was and we knew what B was, we could find out what C was, just by using Pythagorean theorem. So what is A? Let's think about it. Well, A is just this distance from x2 x1 is just this distance left to right. So we could just do um, x2 minus x1. So let's just kind of write that up here. a equals x2 minus x1. In a very similar way, b, this distance, is just the change from y1 to y2. So b, I'm going to say, I'm going to do the y2 first. Okay. Well, remember, the Pythagorean theorem says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and c is this distance that we're trying to find, right? Well, we know what a is now. We have some expression for it in terms of coordinate. It's, we could replace this with x2 minus x1 squared, and we know what b is. We could replace that with y2 minus y1 and that whole thing equals c squared. And then I could take the square root, take the square root, these guys cancel each other out, and so now I know that c is gonna equal this whole formula. Well, this is actually the distance formula. That's where we get the distance formula. It's basically, it's basically just this side squared plus this side squared all underneath the square root because it all comes from the Pythagorean theorem. So instead of the C, though, we use D, and we would just say, we say D for distance, it's really just the hypotenuse, but we would say x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, and it's the same thing. And it actually doesn't matter if these are, it like, I know that I'm doing y2 minus y1, but it doesn't matter if y2 is actually bigger or smaller. Let me show you why. When we square it, it all doesn't matter. So for example, let's say I was to do 2 minus 5, or 5 minus 2, and I was to square both of these. Does the order matter? Well, 2 minus 5 is negative 3, and negative 3 squared is positive 9, right? Well, 5 minus 2 is 3, and 3 squared is also positive 9. So because we're squaring it, it doesn't actually really matter, uh, the order, just as long as we do x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1. That's really all that really matters there. So you got the uh, formula for the distance formula. Now let's talk about how to use it.
Okay, it says find the distance between these two set of points. Now, I'm going to write the distance formula on top because we could just plug it into the distance formula and we'll get our answer. Okay, well, in order to do this, we just have to label our points real quick. So let's do example five together. I'm just going to say that this is my x1, this is my y1, this is my x2, this is my y2. And I could plug it all into this big distance formula, which is fine. So let's go ahead and do that. So d equals the square root of my x2 is 4 minus my x1, 8 squared plus my y2, 1 minus my y1, 5 squared. Okay. So let's just work this out. 4 minus 8, that is negative 4 squared plus 1 minus 5. That's also negative 4 squared. Square root, 4 squared is negative 4 squared is positive 16 plus another 16. So that's the square root of 32. Break that down. What is that? That's the same thing. Wasn't that just 16 times 2? So that's 4 and that's 4. So there's my pair. There's my loner. So I finally have that this distance between the two points is 4, rad 2. Okay, that seemed like a lot of work. And, but that's using the distance formula. It'll work every time as long as you plug it in appropriately. Here's the other option that I would recommend that you do if you have graph paper. Is just plot these points and draw a right triangle. Because really, again, all this is is just an extension of the Pythagorean theorem. So let's just plot these points. Let's plot... Um, 8, 5 first. That's A. So 8, 5, 4, 8, 2, 3. So there's A. Pretty sure that's 8, 5. Yeah, 8, 5. Okay. And B is 4, 1. So let's plot B now. Okay. Well, just like we came up with the distance formula, let's just sketch a little right triangle real quick. And I want the distance here from A to B, right? Well, this is just 4, and this is just 4, and so this would be like my x, or D for distance, however you want to do it. Well, 4 squared plus 4 squared can equal x squared. 16 plus 16 equals x squared. And so 32 equals x squared. So x equals the square root of 32, which is also, we already have solved this 4 rat 2. My point is, if you understand that the distance formula is really just a Pythagorean theorem, you could just do the Pythagorean theorem. Just find the distance of the sides of the little triangle. Just make it into a right triangle and use the Pythagorean theorem. If that doesn't make sense to you, then here's the distance formula. You could do the distance formula every time. Okay? Either way works. So, whichever way you would prefer, distance formula or by sketching, find the distance between these two points. Pause the video, give it a shot. When you're done, unpause it and see if you did it right. I'll put both ways up there for you to check it. Okay? Okay, I labeled my points, x1, y1, x2, y2, plugged in the distance formula. Remember that this is going to be the y2 minus the y1. Well, that's a double negative there because you're going to get a minus a negative 7, so I turned it into a plus 7. It's a common mistake. So if you ended up with like negative 10 here or something, that would be, that's, that's wrong. So you get positive 7 and negative 3, that makes a 4. So then I just simplified out, I get the square root of 25, and that just happens to be 5. Okay? The other thing I did is I just plotted those points down here. So there's point A and there's point B. And I made it into a little right triangle. made that the diagonal of a right triangle. I could have gone this way too. It doesn't really matter. And this side is 4. This side is 3. So we got a 3 squared plus 4 squared must equal 5 squared. That's actually one of the triples we talked about in the last video. So for me, looking at a graph and plotting it just makes it a lot easier to just use the Pythagorean theorem that way. But, you know... It's up to you, which way, whatever way you think is the easiest. All right, for the summary, I got a good problem for you. It says triangle PQR has the coordinates P3, 2, Q, negative 3, 6, 
and R55, use the distance formula three times to find the distance of all three sides. So you're going to actually find the distance from P to Q, the distance from Q to R, and the distance from R to P. I would recommend getting out some graph paper and plotting all this and, and drawing it out. Um, find the distance three times, and then use the Pythagorean theorem to determine whether this triangle is actually a right triangle. So once you have these three distances, plug it into the Pythagorean theorem and see if it's actually a right triangle, and then explain your conclusion. So you might want to maybe sketch a graph here, or maybe, um, or, or just maybe put it on another piece of paper, however you want to do it. But I would like to see your explanation of, of your answer. Remember, you can get it wrong. That's okay, but I want to see that you attempted this by finding these three distances and plugging into the Pythagorean theorem. All right, see you guys in the next video.